cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel And this morning we are making some nice homemade fluffy pancakes All of the ingredients are in the description box So go ahead and grab those and let's get started So first we're gonna start off with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, all right? You just need one and a half cups, unless you wanna make more. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder to that, as well as one teaspoon of baking soda. These are two different things, so make sure you grab both, all right? And next, we're gonna add some sugar just to sweeten this up. You can do three to four tablespoons. Um, four tablespoons is a fourth cup. And then we're gonna add just a dash of salt to balance out some of this sweetness, all right, honey? And then we're gonna whisk and combine. You wanna make sure that you're combining all of your dry ingredients separate from the wet ingredients, all right? So now let's work on the wet. We're gonna add in a cup of milk. I'm actually using almond milk today. I didn't have any milk and I didn't have buttermilk. So I did have almond milk in the house. I always keep that. But you can use whatever kind of milk you want. You want it to be buttermilk uh, pancakes? Get you some buttermilk, all right? So we're gonna add in two eggs to the milk and we're gonna whisk those eggs right into that milk. You know, get it all nice and combined. And it should produce a sort of a like a scrambled egg kind of mixture, you know, something like that. All right, so you just wanna get that all mixed together. Here, I'm just breaking the yolks and I'm gonna add in my vanilla extract to this and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Last but not least, add in those two tablespoons of melted butter, mix it up and we're gonna set that aside so we can combine the dry and the wet ingredients. Okay, so you're just gonna add in that wet egg mixture that we just made to the flour. And look, it's nothing special to this. The only thing that you don't wanna do is mix, mix, blah, blah, blah. mix this with a whisk, okay? You wanna fold this, all right? If you work it too tough, the pancakes come out all dense and hard like a brick. We don't want that, all right? We want it to be nice and fluffy and airy, all right? So the best thing to do is to fold this mixture and not to whisk it we don't want to mix it all right so now it's time for us to fry up these pancakes and you can use oil you can use butter sometimes i go in between this is actually my first time using oil in a long time i actually prefer butter but i probably figured y'all would crucify me about this pan if i don't put oil in here so i, I went ahead and did the oil all right but um you can take a tablespoon of oil a tablespoon of butter let that melt into your pan let that pan get hot before you add it in that's always a good trick to get those crispy edges and I'm just gonna use a uh, measuring cup to get the perfect size. I'm gonna scoop them jokers right out on the skillet and we are going to let it sit, all right? You see it has a little lump in it. It's, that's okay, we want the lumps, that's great. All right, I'm gonna put two in here at a time and we're just gonna let them go. And we're gonna flip them when those edges get nice and brown. Well, not brown, but you know, they get kind of dry. And then you may see a few bubbles at the top. You may not because this is a really thick pancake. However, if you do see the bubbles, it is definitely time to flip. But make sure you don't burn it, all right? Honey, and there you have it. Look at those beautiful pancakes. This recipe made about six to eight pancakes, or it can make six to eight, depending on how thick or how big you want them, all right? But look, I'm just gonna add a little bit of confectioner sugar on top with some butter <laughs> and some hot maple syrup. Honey, this is real pure maple syrup. Ooh, Lord Jesus, look at it. Mm -hmm. Baby, yes, ma'am. And guess what else I'm gonna put on there? I'm gonna put some candied pecans. Candied pecans. Do y'all hear me? It's gonna be the truth. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Check it out. Oh, yes, ma'am. And yes, sir. It's going to be so delicious when you try this out at home. And I want y'all to let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Let me know if this recipe was easy to follow. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye.